Big Steve Irwin. Remember that sexy Pokemon trainer researcher? No, no. <laughs> like the six pack in a lab coat. <laughs> no. Oh, that, oh, oh, I thought you meant like. No, never mind. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> what, what, what were you Professor, thinking? About? Uh, Professor. Something I'm not, not going to talk about. This is your host, Xavier Evans. Mr. Herquin. <laughs> Five seconds and we've already failed to do a successful intro. This is your co host, Brandon. This is your co host, Nathaniel. This is your co host, Charles. And you're listening to the Kickback Hypercast. Hey guys, we're back for October. Uh, this episode, we've uh, come up with a little bit more creative idea, and you can expect more creative ideas for the next couple episodes because we've been trying to th- really think about how to how to have fun with discussion on the podcast instead of doing like the common trend of like, hey, top three this, top whatever this, this versus that. Instead of like hearing what we favor over other things, let's have a little fun this time with. Um, our ideal Pokemon trainer and what kind of trainers we would or not I said that wrong, what kind of wrong. <laughs> our ideal Pokemon partners and what kind of Pokemon trainers we would become so Charles oh I made a disclaimer um, some of us have sniffles so don't mind that oh yeah uh, some of us have colds so we're all dying here I just have a couple of snuff- I just have my snuffles. My allergies are acting up. You'll occasionally hear me um, giving out like a dying cough. You may hear like uh, the other two. Charles a whooping and- cough. Charles and Nathaniel might like sniff a couple times, and Brandon he he might be um, eating in front of the mic like he no, likes I'm to not. do. <laughs> yeah, he has a bag of Cheetos right next to him. Shut up. Also, um, this is um, at the point now when we're uploading Let's Plays to our channel and like giving related content. So. The Hypercast has become two things, both a gaming channel and a podcast. So, yeah. Watch us suffer. We're, we have now expanded. Is uh, Should we probably readers. tell them where to find us on YouTube? That would be a great idea. Yeah, I'm like at 25% right now. Uh, so, uh, uh, let me give me a sec. I mean, like, so you can just search us at Kickback Boys. That's three words. Kickback Boys. Yeah, Simple. three words. Uh, spaces, of course. There's another channel called Kickback Boys, but if you know our logo and this, all that. This episode might become updated or outdated because I'm going to rename the channel Kickback Hypercast just for the sake of continuity. Yeah, that makes sense. We are Kickback Boys, but... The studio name but is yeah, Kickback I mean, it's kick, Yeah, it's Kickback Boys. There's a KBH for the icon. And the banner's Hypercast Kickback Boys. Yeah. Look up our River City Girls Let's Play. It's really fun. Uh, share some laughs and whatnot. Our Smash videos always. Our, our Smash Bros. videos are very fun. Um, some interesting debates and fights settled out in Smash. So, uh, before editing, we're already like three minutes and 30 seconds into the video. So, let's episode so let's get into this while i learn to transition well because everyone's had english <coughs> mm-hmm. so how did you guys get into pokemon and we'll start with charles uh, i got into pokemon well actually it's because when i was young well it was my one of my first games i got my own my first game i owned like when i when i was bought a game boy for the first time that was my first game was fire red that's how i probably got into pokemon they just gave because they just gave me the game play it and that's for a Christmas gift I beat Fire Red twice and then about not long later I got Sapphire and beat that game like 50 times over and over again okay so uh, I was a young lad of 11 uh, oh this is really late <laughs> yeah uh, I didn't get into Pokemon until much later than everyone else uh, I ended up getting a Nintendo DSi for Christmas cultured that man. year. Cultured man right there. Yeah. And so uh, I only had one or two games. So, you know, Frank comes up to me and he's like, hey, here's Pokemon Diamond. I'm like, I don't know much about Pokemon. You realize this? I think you're gonna. I beat that game 100%. <laughs> I beat, I caught everything within that game. I caught some stuff in this game that I shouldn't have. <laughs> that kind of sounds ominous. Rotom? No, Rotom you're supposed to catch. Um... Deoxys, or uh, that Mew with no name. Oof. Mew? <laughs> no, it just had no name, and every time I tried to throw it out there, it crashed my system. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do remember hearing about that Mew bug. Yeah. I act, oopsies. <laughs> okay, so with me, I was either like four or five uh, in kindergarten, 
And I think like I got interested from my cousins. They're the ones that like got me into like most of the games that I play today. Um, not Assassin's Creed. That's another story. Um, but I got interested in Pokemon, and then I think it was when uh, the year Diamond and Pearl came out. I got a Golden Zelda DS with Pokemon Pearl wow, for Christmas. Wow, what, what a badass. Somebody's parents loved them. What a pay to win. Pay to win. Pay to win. <laughs> and I know I always... I played that game to death. Is DS just I have built in um uh built in flash actions. replay, whatever it's called. I have that same copy from that Christmas today. Really? I have not traded that in at all. Even Pokemon Platinum. I keep all my Pokemon games. Unless it's like limited edition or something, I will hold on to like I will I mean I'll, I don't mind trading in things, but I keep limited edition stuff. I don't blame you for that. It's kind of sentimental. So, and what age were you around this time again? Um, I think, like, Pokemon Pearl came out during probably, like, 2006, 2005, something like that. Oh, so you're, like, a wee little first grade. Wee lad. A wee lad of five years old. I was around, it was yeah. the first time coming here, so I was maybe around first, second grade myself. Starting out grade school. All right. Yeah, everyone uh, else started Pokemon much earlier than I did. Oh, my story is a little different. Oh, uh, so I grew up watching the Pokemon series every single morning. Yes. Oh, no. that was me Pokemon, as well. Pokemon, gotta you catch him. Can we I not was- sing the intro? <laughs> oh God, we're gonna get sued. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Let's avoid that. <laughs> Corporate strike. Okay. I'll distort it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, that was a great series. I loved watching it every single morning. I didn't know a dang thing about Pokemon. I just knew that it wasn't Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got something against Yu-Gi-Oh? Okay, that was the one thing I did get into from a young age. Dude, it's the reason I stopped respecting people with large hair. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, it was. It was I, I really enjoyed watching Pokemon. And I didn't really learn that there was like an actual video game about it until like years to come. At that point, I was just more into like learning how my older siblings were playing the card games because I was really into like uh, the cards and the systems and all that stuff. I'd like be reading the cards and seeing like the power level or whatever the heck there was on it and like what kind of attacks there were on the cards. It was pretty cool. I remember like always collecting the Pokemon cards. I want to like get back into it. Ugh, I don't think I can. That's, do a, it. that's an expensive hobby right there. Yeah. Anybody remember the golden cards? Those things are cool. Or what, yeah, what, what I think they, they have, actually what do they have, have some. now. Those uh, the EX cards. Yeah, EX exclusive. They have a lot. We do like these random like. How, how's this fair? I'm done. <laughs> Pay to win. Anyways, uh, uh, it wasn't until I want to say 2000, 2011. Yeah, 2011. Uh, summer. I I spent. I found this game on the Wii called Pokey Park. No. <clears throat> yes. Oh no. I made a dedication as an eleven year old. Uh when the school week was done, every Saturday morning, like maybe around like five in the morning, I'd play Pokey Park per, uh slowly making progress through the game. Cause I saw it as like something to do at the end of the week that was really relaxing and I was kinda of in my own world playing the game. And like that was like my first exposure to a Pokemon game. And it was very fun. It wasn't until <clears throat> Um. Yeah. Uh, later, when I met Charles, he showed me what a real Pokemon game was. Yep. Pokemon Y. That was fun. I didn't lend you the copy. So yeah. Uh, I grew Wait, up with- your first real Pokemon game was Y. Yes. Yep. Okay. I never Everyone's had a spare. Different. I never had a spare copy. I never had a spare copy in my games except for like Y because I bought both Y and X at the same time for some reason. <laughs> when I think of Pokemon Y now, I think of Pokemon W H Y, like Y. Why? <laughs> Right. But I know, like, I always get uh, the double Pokemon games. I usually only get one. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, recently. Do you know the Not purpose recently. of there even being two releases, Brandon? I do. To trade with friends, so you, or no, so you can, like, get different Pokemon by swapping know. of friends. So, so you know, well, marketing. I mean, like, the reason I get, like, two games is because I can go through the story with, like, two different teams. Because I always, like, like two of the starters. So well, it's, like, for Sword and Shield. For Shield, I'll go with Grookey. And then with uh, Shield. For I shield and Shield. I, I guess. Sword, uh, shield. Grookey, Shield, yeah. like probably Score Bunny. Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to knock you down. I mean, 
I fully endorse doing what you enjoy as long as it doesn't harm other people. So I, I, I guess if you enjoy it, it's kind of expensive in my opinion, but if you enjoy it, well, they are catering to people who buy both games now with that double pack. That's like a reduced price. That's what I got. You already pre-ordered Paid it? Paid a whale. I pre-ordered it like months ago. Look at this whale, guys. Oh, boy. Okay, so that leads us to our next thing. Uh, what if, and this is like the real meat of the topic. What if we were trainers? I want to throw us into the Pokemon world. We got our boat bags. We got our trainer caps on. We just stepped out of mom's house after dad left us. <laughs> 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 and we're, we're on our way to the, to, um, the professor's lab. Oh, I might to get our to practice. get our st- to get our starter. There's four boys who know absolutely nothing of the real world. We're all 13 years old and we'll never age. We sure. we found internal youth. We found internal fountain youth. I mean that's just yeah sure. Okay. I hated myself at 13. Let's go to 16. We can't run unless we're wearing the running shoes. Oh my god, guys! <laughs> <laughs> we're Pokemon trainers. Come on. Incredible impression. So, what kind of trainer would you be? And we'll, this time we'll start with Brandon. What type of trainer? Um, you know, I'll just go all the way up there. I go, I'll be a gym leader. You you want to strive to be a gym well. leader? Yeah. Okay. Um, I always like the look of the gym leader Volkner, the electric type gym leader from uh, Sinnoh. Ah. Uh. I just like the look of him, and then from what I said, the type, I would have electric types on my team. Ooh. Okay. 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 So you're you're the electric type guy. You yep. want to be a gym leader. Okay. So I do all those traveling people. Okay, I can respect that. I travel around, beat anyone's ass, <coughs> or not anyone, but I'd be renowned for winning most of my battles. <laughs> okay. Okay, blue. Okay, blue. Um, I'm a day by that. As for type, this might sound cliche, but I'd go for ghost. Ghost types? Spooky. Very cool. Very cool. So you're going to be a traveling trainer mastering the ghost types? Exactly. Are you going to be like an edgelord? I'll, I'm going to be an edgelord that tries not to be an edgelord. <laughs> you, you like have like the um, like your hair is like shaved on one side and like all your hair is on the other side and you like dyed it black and like you have like... Got my skull cap and everything. Skull cap and like my name is Punk Nathaniel. <laughs> when someone tries to call you an edgelord you just get annoyed. Yeah, then I beat right, them down like, with my Pokemon. Who are you looking at, you scumbag? <laughs> 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 All right. Okay, let's see. My type of trainer? I honestly want to be one of those, like, tra- trainers who try to travel around. Like, those, like, elite tra- trainers that travel around a lot and fight stronger people, get stronger, get better, fight people constantly. So you're Ash, but with longer hair. No, I, I actually <laughs> win my matches. I like Ash. I actually win my matches. So Charles is striving for Red's path. Eh, he, no, he man, wants, but I just want to f- just go around, travel, fight people. I, I want to fight f- more h- tough battles. You want to see the world. Do you want to, like, do you have any, like, secondary goals behind that? Mm, <coughs> not really. Just as is maybe become a champion here, here or there just because I'm good. To, when you run out of things to fight, you just become a champion. Okay, people come fight me now. So you just want to be the very best, or Something you're like literally that. Ash with longer hair. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know you, you, I like saying. Ash. I'm you're, gonna win. You're, you're just going with the wind, fighting people and getting yeah, better. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Okay. I like have Ash who travels with friends. I'll, I'll probably no. Except it'll probably take you a, at least a, like a few years sooner to get master. Yeah. For me, um. Oh, sorry, I didn't see my type. I'll be oh, I'll be choose oh, yeah, dark types. Yeah. Dark types? I always love the dark type Pokemon's. <coughs> it was between dragon or dark, and I prefer dark types more. A lot more, actually. Okay. Sounds very cool. Uh, so for me, I would like to... Um, I would definitely strive to be a uh, a researcher because I want to research um, flying type Pokemon. And um, I, I've always been, like, crazy about aerodynamics and, like, flying as a kid. Especially after aerospace class. And, um, yeah, I just want to be like that... That really strange, like quirky, um, researcher from the games, who just has like the strangest personality. But in my case, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like that surfer dude. I'm gonna have like a oh no, like my lab coat, rocking six pack. Oh lo- no, f- uh, floral shorts, <laughs> flip flops. Gonna like 
totally mad. <laughs> Xavier, <laughs> no. no. Cuckoo-y. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. He's cuckoo Yep. Yeah, yes, so yes. Definitely. Yes, in spirit. Cuckoo is your only, stand. Only like my girlfriend's not going to be as hot as his. What? That just got sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying that that got really it, sad. It, I'm not gonna get into waifu material in this episode. Please no. Not yet. No, 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 not, actually, not, not, not in the Pokemon. No, game. please, but no, not, not, not Pokemon. Not in the Pokemon. No, game. After what I've talked about, no. No, we want to stay away from that territory. <laughs> so who wants to talk like uh, talk about Boa or Bea? What's her What's her name? The new Pokemon? No, no. <laughs> no. no. Right. Go home. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> so uh, next on our list. Um, what's going to be our starter Pokemon? Because we're still these uh, trainers starting out. We just talked about our, our aspirations. professor tells us here, I'll give you any Pokemon you want as a starter as long as it's not legendary. That's basically what the rules are of this one. Yeah, we, we can only use uh, first the, evolution. First, day, first, first evolution, uh, uh, except, exceptions like Shuckle. Like, yeah, you can still choose like Pokemon Shuckle or Absol. Like, it has to be, it has, it cannot be a legendary or mythical. It can't be like, something like Mew, Darkrai, something like that. It can't be those. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Common so types. since I've started one, Brand started one, let's end the thing, I'll start this one. Oh, okay. Well, <coughs> I choose Duskull. I, I like Duskull, I really do. He's just a floating skull. Like a little like fire in his eyes. I, I really like that design. Bulky ghost type. Pretty Busy. good and competitive in both forms. Duskull's not bulky. Duskinor and like Dusclops are, yeah. Duskull is really just like a floating skull like Gray flame. Have you seen that boy's stats? You're, you're really trying hard not to be edgy, Nathaniel. I am. Like, so much. <laughs> he has skulls, as you can tell. That's Team Skull. By the way, this is going to be our partner Pokemon, the ones, quote unquote, riding on our shoulders. And the reason uh, Dust Skull will be our partner is because it goes back to my uh, playing Diamond. I chased this boy around for about a week, man. He was, <laughs> the, he was more elusive than the actual legendaries that are elusive. <laughs> he, he did not want to be caught. He's the mimic you to you. Yes. PTSD. I eventually caught him. So. Okay, my turn. Well, this one's kind of I, I pretty much brought it up. I picked Zora. I've always loved Zora. I was like when I played fifth gen, the moment I seen Zora in the movie and everything, I literally made it my my entire goal to literally beat fifth gen with Zora. Like I literally did everything. I did the event, everything for that Pokemon. I'm sorry, but I am unfamiliar with this Pokemon. Nice. Zora is the illusion Pokemon. They can create illusions and everything. Oh, How I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Zelda Zora. Z o u r a no. Z O U R A. Yeah, I think so. I'm not oh, right. Yeah, that's my starter. Right? That's probably my favorite. That's actually my favorite Pokemon of all time, right there. I love his final evolution. Everything oh, I, what? I used in competitive. I knew. I know this Pokemon like the back of my hand. Uh, Zora. Yep, that one. Oh, the little fox one. How do you spell it? Oh, yeah, that's cool. I guess evolution mainly. Oh. And yeah, dark type. Okay. Pure oh, yeah, dark. That one. Yeah, I like that one. It, uh, is illusion. I love the illusion. Oh, like, oh the I, 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 rec- I recognize. Sorry. Yeah, I recognize him by his evolution Zorark. Yeah, I love his illusion. I love his illusion ability. That's probably why I like it so much because it can, it can take on the back Pokemon. So I can have like I can. It pretty much makes it like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Okay, so very. Interesting. I can use a dark. T- I can use a dark slash ghost type in the back of my party. And oh, so I like that shiny version of it too. Yeah, I love the shiny. Eighty-seven point five percent of the uh, group is male, and twelve point five percent is female. Yeah, that's gonna be hard for like reproduction, that's, repopulation. That's, that's a hard life right there. Well, there are so not many women around. Around. They're already taken. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh, that's my starter. Moving to me, um, I'm gonna choose. Um, uh, What's what's the what's uh Pidgey's uh first Pidgey first Pidgey Pidgey I okay. oh my god I, I was Xavier hush I was literally just trying to figure out if that was it or not you don't have to bash Xavier me. went basic on here I was going to say Pidgeot okay that's super basic <laughs> he went Pidgey he went basic mode isn't that normal flying Pidgey has the same basic attacks as an Onix not a Starly. Not a Starly, not something interesting. Starly's no. more aerodynamic. All right, well, see you I, 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 I like I like Pidgey's. Um, I like I just like their design. It's always been very cool to me, and especially um as like they it's being redesigned over the years. I like the newest version of Pidgey or Pidgey. Pidgeotto, um, the mega Pidgeotto's evolution one. like yeah, his mega evolution is very very cool. You mean the thing that gets a high special attack set for no reason but no physical at all? Yes. Which bothers me slightly. Whatever. Rip Brave Bird. Anyways, yeah, I, I love Pidgey. It's been my favorite uh, Pokemon since uh, the 
the animation and like that's that would always be the first Pokemon to come to my mind, not Pikachu, Pidgey. Okay, now Brandon's turn. Okay. So I'm stuck on two Pokemon. I'm still trying to decide, but I think I decided the one. I would go for Elekid. Yeah, I know. I seen that coming. I actually seen that coming. Elekid is has Electivire and Electabuzz as their evolutions, and is a electric type. It can it also has fighting moves. Yeah, it's pretty much fighting electric, isn't it? But it's only pure electric. It's only electric. Oh, okay. Its ability is Motor Drive and Lightning Rod. Trying to remember, Motor Drive. Pretty solid Pokemon, actually. Or Vital Oh no, Vital Spirit and Motor Drive. But um, I I started to like this Pokemon um when I played Gen Five. Um, I think it was like Black Two or White Two. Black Black Two is Black, is Black Two White Two. That's where he popped up. Um, but I got him on my team and like I, I just like kept him on there. Like I just really enjoyed him, and then over the years, like I just. Really enjoyed uh, the look of Electivire, and then uh, my one cousin actually made like a statue of sorts of Electivire because like I would I wanted uh, like a Pokemon made into a statue, and that's what she did. Huh. Very cool. <laughs> okay, uh, I just realized something. If I'm gonna have a Pidgey that evolves eventually. I'm gonna have to have something on my shoulder so its talents don't destroy my arm. Yeah, yeah, that's what bird trainers should have. They have like that glove. You ever seen a bird trainer trainer who has like this thing on their arm like this? So like really thick gloves. I, I guess it wouldn't really fit on my shoulder. Yeah, I need like uh, the glove training glove or whatever. Nah, that Pidgey, that Pidgey also is gonna be on your brain. You're gonna have both his talents <laughs> on your shoulders. We're, we're gonna go to the fields and hunt for Rattatas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Kill. Kill all you the see rat that rat already in the grass? Go. <laughs> Eat. Oh, here's rat. <laughs> oh my god. There's like a squeak and you hear like really gnarly noises. You just you just hear them like trying to clap back and there's just an army for Tata surrounding oh. us. He's like, oh. Pidgey, oh. I just leave. <laughs> oh, your Pidgey just what? flies to the wind. Flies away. <laughs> it's like, You're, no, Pidgey. You got no. this, master. <laughs> then Rat Tata starts flying off. Your Pidgey, like, wait, what? What? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right, I his master now. So, what's our goal as a trainer? Well, first I had one idea, but then I'm thinking about if my with the Pokemon I'm choosing. I want to, with that Pokemon I chose, and I think I'm thinking, do I? Really, I want to fight strong people, but I also want to be like trickster type person who will pop up in the adventure. Like, I, I, like I, for you know those people you when you're you just you see these kids that start friends, you start start walking out, they find some strange bad guy or something. I want to be that guy, but not the bad guy. I want to be the guy. I want to challenge him, make him want to get stronger, and then fight him when he gets the strongest, and then make. So you want to find people with potential, and then make them get stronger, and then beat them. You're just gonna jump people just along the road, <laughs> dear hey, God! Hey, you're hey, a kid, bandit. You look pretty competent. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. I don't know they why. black out, you take their money. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get this my Pokemon god. back when you're ready. <laughs> now, I just want to fight. More of my story is fight strong people. And the best way to make strong people is by giving people a reason to get strong. Yeah. If they're over cocky, beat them down, and now they want to get stronger. And they realize, oh, wait, I'm, I, I should actually work harder. And then they get, or they get stronger. And then I'll pay up. I'm the champion of this region just for no reason. You know, that could also lead to another path where uh, the kid decides he doesn't want to be a Pokemon trainer anymore because you literally suck the life out of him for that. So he just goes home crying. <laughs> no, he becomes like you, Nathan. He becomes an edgelord. Is yeah. that my backstory? Charles beat me up one day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, so. Uh, yep. I'm, no, I beat you out of the gate. I use my dark type against your ghost type and I beat you. Dark beats ghost. That Shit, is true. Cool. Use this in replay. Anyways, um, for me, I, I definitely want to do uh, research up to the point to where I can make it so that trainers and Pokemon can like become one in the sense that like people can become Pokemon almost. Uh, uh, Xavier, no. <laughs> this is kind of don't no. worry. It's through the use of technology. Xavier, so no. Like, <laughs> look, Xavier, no. We're here, not doing Bill. Got, okay, are we Bill now? Hear me out. We're Bill. I'm not trying to redo the movie. <laughs> We're Bill. <laughs> hear, All right. Hear me out. Hear me out. We're Bill. So, imagine if, like, you know how they always talk about how like um Pokemon and Pokemon um trainers have to like have their hearts and minds together in order to like carry out their moves and like be on the same page yeah what if we could do that with technology that means you, know? you can do it with anybody's pokemon you realize this 
Yeah, I mean, like, you I'm, not, I'm not saying you're mind controlling them or anything. I'm just saying, like, create a device. Um, I don't know. I probably like call it heart sync or something. So we're now we're what we're, we're, we're Pokemon Rangers now. It helps to tune their um. It helps to tune the trainer. And the we're Pokemon. Pokemon Rangers now. Pokemon Snap. Are we taking pictures now? No, we're Rangers. Actually, that's what Rangers well, use as one device. Look, look, it would help with like stubborn Pokemon, like say like what, what Piplup. Have you ever played Pokemon Ranger? No, I don't think that's I what they, they what they do is they use the loop these loop things to make sync with the Pokemon or something. It's pretty much the entire game. You know, I'm changing my goal entirely since you guys have ruined my dreams. Um, I'm going to become a, uh, the best renowned uh, researcher that takes down any villain organization that tries to challenge me to learn um, all the knowledge of the legendaries. You realize they'll probably just come back, right? Yeah. And I will destroy them how, each how and every time. How many iterations of Team Rocket has there been? There's Team Rainbow now. Exactly. I will destroy every color in the rainbow. Oh, damn. <laughs> all right, Brandon. <laughs> okay. So, with me and my Electro-type Pokemon, Elekid... Well, Electivire at that point. I would become the last uh, gym leader in a region that hasn't been discovered yet. And I would charge that whole city with just my Electivire. Time to bring my crocodile and kick your your ass. And when I go into battle, everyone has to go to the stadium to watch me battle. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Brandon, no! Come to me or shut your power no. off. Brandon, Brandon, when you get to that point, I'm going to find you and challenge you. I'm going to destroy you. Brandon, I'm going to walk up there with my crocodile. You're like, going okay. to get destroyed! <laughs> Electric beats flying types, idiot. Dude, do you think that stopped our legendary red and blue, my guy? It's literally a Charizard or a flying type versus a war turtle. Brandon. I'm just gonna walk up there with my crocodiles like, hey Brandon. So right. about that fire I'm gonna, fight. I'm gonna show you the power of friendship doesn't mean anything when it comes to types. Brandon, I'm gonna walk up there with my crocodiles like, so about that fight. <laughs> and then the so, Daniel shows up with his edge lord self. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna brace my edge lord now. Okay, I'm gonna bracing it. I'm edge lord now. Let's face it. His beanie is like evolved into something weirder. <laughs> edge lord beanie. It's like a skull. It's like three skulls now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I do some really weird stuff. I'd probably visit each and every graveyard in the region just to see what it's like. Dead Marowak, here we come. Exactly. Oh my god. Pokemon necromancy, man. Oh god, we're why? nagging now. Because why not? It's a power no one has tapped into yet. I mean, oh, no. I am, you, you become like has. an urban legend amongst like uh, the villages. Like, there's like some weird trainer like lurking around the graveyards, and some kids tr- come and try to fight you, and you just beat them up. They the black out, and I take their money. Sure. <laughs> so you're, you're like the graveyard Pokemon master or something. The there's, Pokemon, there's a Pokemon game. There's a there's a not not door scene or something called Snakewood. It's pretty much that with undead. Snakewood sounds kind of suggestive. It's a, it's a ROM. It really it's a, sounds suggestive, I know. though. I know. There was like one thing I wanted to add to, to the goals. Mm-hmm. Or uh, as a gym leader as well, I want to find like the pure. Uh, what like electric types mean to people. I What, what am I trying to explain here? Brandon the full potential of electric types. I hide in the shadows. You literally just turn them into electricity. <laughs> You know the best part about Zora is we, we we all know that our overarching goals are to find our dads. Yeah, the, I was gonna say that too. We have to find our dads as well. Yeah. yeah. You know the best part is about there, my, there are the Pokemon. No, Brandon. The you know what the best part about <laughs> Zora or Zorax, my partner, illusion. I could just become. I could be somebody else the entire time. I could be. I could be your best friend the entire time and turn to no, I'm not. Oh Brandon, you just find out you're ma- you you're like you're married and you just find out it's been Charles this whole time. <laughs> your kids been there would Zorak. be a murder and the power would be out for the entire city. Oh my god. Maybe Brandon dead. I go crazy. <laughs> the entire power to the whole city is shut down. <laughs> <laughs> National news. You hold the city's power hostage. What's that Pokemon? Bulk that- Spark City is down. What's that Pokemon that can turn into anything? It's like a purple blob. Ditto. 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 I was going to okay. choose Ditto. You, if you just find point. out your kids are Dittos. <laughs> no. <laughs> your whole family we've is Dittos. Seen, we've seen what like human Dittos look like. They're creepy. Oh, oh my God. With the beady eyes. Yeah. Uh, that is no. really creepy. Yeah. You have, you have a weird life if that's what you're going for. <laughs> nah, I'm not per- I'm a trickster. Like glasses or something, so he doesn't I'll be know. the trickster person. I, I'll, be the, I'll be the asset to all of you. If they want me trying to go to a graveyard, right, yeah, no. So we're all going to promise to become masters and come back to, like, some certain location, our hometown, in, like, what, 10 years. And we're going to, like, battle each other. 
I imagine it's just gonna be like Brandon and Charles. Wow. <laughs> It'd be me. No, it'd just be me at the end. Make like, okay, guys. How do I f- how, now, a three v one? Here we go. While I'm gone, the whole city that I went <laughs> that I <laughs> that I own is out of power. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I'm going on vacation. <laughs> Go on, what if the- <laughs> there's like a hospital in the city? And people are on life support. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> They're dead now. Oh Dude, my god. That is messed no, I just up. own two electivires. The one you just, that you pull the plug. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm, I'm just, oh I'm just like Lance, where he owns like uh, two Dragonites. You're like I mean, no, Lance the is a hacker. A plug, right? Lance is a hacker. Yes. What are you talking about? There's a giant outlet in the shape of Electro, Electro, whatever his name is. Brandon, oh, Lance is no. a hacker. What are you talking about? No, what okay. I'm trying to say is like I have two electiviers. Not to roll. When I go into battle as a gym leader, I take both of them out, and then everyone has to go to the stadium. But when I go out, the one electivire just stays at the city and I'm just still powers kick, I'm the still going to kick your ass, Brandon, right? You know that, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat up Brandon. I mean, not Brandon. Uh, Nathaniel, then Charles, and then probably get killed by Brandon. Don't worry, I'll make your grave look nice. Xavier, why is everyone trying to beat me? You all know you'll lose against me. I'm that guy who's so competitive, like, okay, guys, here's my competitively built team. My Mega Evolution Ampharos. Takes out his instant replay. Anyways. <laughs> action replay, here we go. Uh, action replay, <laughs> I'm saying instant. <laughs> All right. Instant uh, transmission. The last part for this, uh, the legendaries that we're striving for. I'm going to embrace what, what? full edgelord. I'm going to go get Garantina. I'm going to go to the reverse shadow realm, whatever it's called, and I'm going to get myself a Garantina. Right. I so, we're going for types. so we're going for our type legendaries. Well, that blows for me, but Harry and I. But the one thing sucks is I had to go for a dark type, and the only dark legendary there is is a tree. Is actually no, I'll get Yavetel. He's the Pokemon of life. He's sorry, death. It's like okay, I'll get Yavetel. Then I actually like using Yavetel on competitive. It's actually a quite fun Pokemon to use. Well, how do you spell it? I want to see this one myself. Why? Oh, his name is weird. Y V E T A L. It's it's hard to spell. Uh, oh, why Vettel? Um, yeah, Pokemon Y. Oh, I see what? it. Yep, just look him up. I get shiny. It's shiny. It's like bacon. Shiny bacon. He's right. It looks like bacon. <laughs> That's funny. I like a shiny. He's like I have my bacon bird. Like, why do you have a bacon bird? I have a bacon bird. Yeah, this thing's actually pretty cool. It's also genderless, so take that for what you will. Okay. Stick my. No, no, gonna, <clears throat> we're not doing that. I'm gonna bend the rules a bit for mine, and um, this one's gonna have like this one's gonna be a multi type, but it's still flying type. I'm gonna choose Rayquaza. I know mine's multi type as well. Mine's dark and flying. Oh, there you go. It's multi type's fine. Multi type yeah. as long as it has dark in it or some as long as it has your base type in it. Okay, then yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with Rayquaza. I'm gonna go. I, what what I used to call him? I used to call him Lincoln Logs. Why? I don't know. He looks like segments made together into like some kind of cat lizard. I'm so half tempted for us all but, to boot up a Pokemon <clears> game. All all of us make a team and fight each other. But dude, like soaring the skies, like shocking people left and right. Oh my god, that'd be great. Actually, guys, if you want, actually, if you guys want to, I can just tell me what Pokemon you want. I can build up the teams and we can all fight one day. No, we can all record it. Hey Nathaniel, you still want to challenge me to a fight with my Rayquaza? I have I the mean, literal devil. Try me, <laughs> guys. Boy, I am the I am the protector of the atmosphere. You realize my Pokemon can fly as well, right? <laughs> so no question, Xavier. Horrifying. Since we're on this, we'll have a question so for a, some gameplay footage. Should we actually record some Pokemon battle footage of all the Pokemons and we fight each other of our teams? Uh, maybe I could the, do that. Maybe in the future, I could do that. The I teams are literally Pokemon. just. It, we're just gonna do like our starter Pokemon's and then the legendaries. That's just, it. Let's just wait till the console Pokemon comes out and see what we can do from there. Um, no, we won't be able to do much. Most of the Pokemon's are going to be removed, or we can't I'm, access I'm, them. I'm, well, let's 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 do it with like entirely fresh Pokemon, and like we'll just like do it based on uh, the Sword and Shield regions Pokemon. I, that means don't give. Okay, yeah, and no. on to me. Okay, I was right. Brain exists. Zach Rom. See that coming. See that. I'm more. So is why Zekrom? Type legendaries? No, Zapdos, look, look, Zekrom. He looks cool as fuck. <laughs> Brandon. You know, what? you know what? Fair enough. I will give I'm, you that because uh, Rayquaza's um, um, Mega Evolution looks even more badass than his actual. Is that Mega Evolution's banned? Did anyone ask? No, right. I'm, I'm, I'm which, cursed. Which Pokemon universe are you from? I'm P- I have PTSD from Mega Rayquaza. 
<laughs> yeah, but I'll just go for Zach Rom because I want to control that legendary so bad. I yeah. mean, dude, power is everything. When you're walking around with like a god, like what's a god to an ant? <laughs> yeah. What do we look like to ants? Cheese. <laughs> Attack on Titan. See, I'm not gonna be that person that like just imprisons like Zach Rom in the city. And then, like, make a god. Dude, I'm not going to be the statue. <laughs> he controls power not just for the city, but for the entire region now. Wait, isn't Zach? Yeah, Zach Rom's an electric type. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. dragon electric. That's what I'm saying. Oh, dude, that's your generator. I No, I don't want to be that person because I would okay. seem like an evil person. Yeah, you do. That. Like you know, he has like I would come and find you and probably take Zach Rom. But I mean, like, Electivire is the one that, like, has about, like, 100,000 volts or something yeah, like that. Interesting. You would have like a cool ass city though uh, with like all those like electric type Pokemon doing cool things. You know what's interesting? Um, I'm gonna this is this is related to Pokemon. There's the Pokemon spinoff game, the Conquest Pokemon game. You both just chose Nogaba's legendaries. Nobunaga? Nobunaga, you know what I mean. You you both, he gets two legendaries in the game. He gets a Rayquaza and Zekrom. So you guys are able to just him. <laughs> well, he's not two people. Yeah, no, I'm just saying but, you um, it's funny. It's funny. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, whenever I go into battle, like that's gonna be my last Pokemon I throw out as the gym leader. They just see like a Zachrom going <laughs> going oh. out. Just for crap's sake. Just like a little like 13 year old comes uh, in going all like Alright, Pikachu, we beat Electa Kid. Now what the <laughs> Alright kid. Get on get on the ground and bow to your master. <laughs> just sees a Zachrom. What? Season, season is guess. What was your legendary again, Nathaniel? Garantina. Garantina. Oh boy, we're which gonna, is a we're, ghost dragon. We're gonna destroy the world fighting each other. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll just be here, d- gone forever. I'll be, I'll be an illusion. I'll be just a tree. <laughs> now we have to rent out the entire Pokemon League, like one of them. We'd have to That's rent out the entire land, the region. We are using Pokemon that can destroy the world physically. They can rebuild the Pokemon League. They've done it a billion times before. Do you think at these points we would have built our own like fellowships and stuff on our adventures? Friendships and other Pokemon. Power us? friendship. Yeah, so we got like our own like homeboys and stuff back at home. Oh God, just meet a well, bunch I mean, of like homegirls. Too, of, course, of course, like there would be like the original four of us that we're good with. Well, I mean, we're rivals, my guy. We're rivals to the end, boy. Yeah, I just have a bunch of edge lords traveling with me. <laughs> you you have like a you have like a posse of like edge lords who are like really into like they all have different horrible backstories too. I wasn't gonna go that far. I was just gonna say you're into British rock or something. Oh, were the Beatles? <laughs> sure. <laughs> or just heavy metal. Well, it doesn't matter. Works. Okay, so uh, that was uh, being a Pokemon trainer. Wow, that was funny. It was and kind of, it was our a Pokemon partner. That was a weird little mess. I didn't expect to be an edge lord. I didn't come in here thinking I was going to be an edge lord. When does that simply be the edge lord? I am now. You are the edge lord. So yeah, uh, I'm just, a clown. Just to keep it in your minds, I am a sexy like Pokemon ones. researcher. Uh, they was an edge lord. Brandon is an electric type gym leader that controls a whole entire Brandon city the fu- with the grass. The in electric my hands. master. Brandon, you're you going just, too far. You on just this. reached like the stadium. Is this stadium like underground? You said. I didn't it, say it's underground, but oh. I guess it could be. No, don't make it underground. Make it like a tall tower. It's like the power tower or something. Uh, what's the place from like Final Fantasy VII? I don't know. Just call it the power tower. You should know this, Charles. Brandon, I'm not going to even tell you. You're, you're on your own on this one. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Charles is PTSD. Mephilus or something like that. I don't know. Syphilis? <laughs> Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Re- I don't remember the name, but I'm not that cultured. Dude, you with said Final Mephilus. Fantasy VII. That's a Sonic 06 thing. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Mephilus. And Charles is gonna be speaking with the trees for some reason. No, I'm, I'm a trick. I'm, I'm, I'm the tricks person. My, my res- a Lorax. No, you know what's I gonna be funny? Trees. My research facility is gonna be like on like cold mountains, but for some weird reason, like. The property around my research facility is like all summer vibes and stuff. Oh, and like the grass is green. It'd be in the middle, of, the of, the the middle of winter. The research facility would be on like a giant lapras or something like that. Just floating around in the water. Sure. It'd be in the middle you of know, winter. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be in the middle of the ocean. It's a huge research facility floating in the ocean. It's like it's either on a, what, what do you call it? What's the, uh, Torterra, I think it's called. Yeah. 
Well, why would I be in the ocean? I'm gonna go. Uh, no, I'm being indecisive. I'm gonna go back to the mountain because I am a flying type researcher. It's gonna be high in the mountains. Yeah, because I'm gonna be studying like high altitude and stuff and all that stuff. That's why I meet Rayquaza eventually on my travels. He's like, hey, sup? I'm coming with you now. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, God. It's like Rayquaza, join my team, please. No, it's like. All right, pay the DLC. Pay the egg. You're still trying to beat him with Pidgey. Not he, even Pidgey. He, he literally Pidgey. hands you a certificate for DLC. Like you have to sign in and enter your payment information. Your credit card info. <laughs> you have to pay a thousand dollars. Give me your credit card number. The three wacky numbers on the back. You have to confirm that you own both Pokemon games. Oh, that'll be easy for me. All right, buddy. I'll see you in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, uh, lasting thoughts before we wrap up with our uh, social media plugs. Well, all of you will be under my grip of hands for my city. But your city, Brandon. Gonna be I'll, be, I'll be traveling Not the world, so I won't know. Brandon, I won't even be in the same region as you. I'll be in like three regions to the left. Charles just becomes irrelevant in his journey. I'm literally going to be in hell. I'm not saying all of you. <laughs> Brandon, okay. show your tits. Anyways, <laughs> seems none of us ever found our dads, but. Nonetheless, I probably found my dad. I probably found my dad like five times, but I won't even know him because I know what my dad looks like. Nonetheless, uh, <laughs> that concludes this episode. I think they're proud of us. No, no. You can you can find uh, Kickback Hypercast on Twitter at Kickback Boys One. I think that's what it is. All right, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Life Serious L Y S E R Y S E R I. E U S. <laughs> My bad. Yes, Lysarius. Just, just spell it out I, pretty much. It'll be in the description or whatever. Uh, Nathaniel? I mean, not Nathaniel. Uh, Brandon? Uh, on Twitter, you can follow me uh, at Vextro55, V E X D R O 55. Nathaniel? Let's see. The only social media I'm using at the moment is Twitter, so you can find me at SoulSwag Nathan. I really, Charles exists. I really need to make a new Twitter. I need to make a Twitter where I can interact, but you, I don't know you how. You said that two weeks ago. You said this every episode. So when Charles finishes procrastinating, you'll be able to find him on the internet. Somewhere. Uh, I, have, I have a I have a Of course, you can find us at Kickback Hypercast if you're not listening on Anchor. Uh, if you're subscribed to your favorite platform, that's already good and all set. Um, if your platform uh, does commenting, uh, send us a comment our way or go to our Facebook page on Twitter at Kickback Boys. Literally, just at Kick. At Kickback Boys, and then there's YouTube, of course. YouTube, you can find our gaming channel where we uh, do let's plays that are up uploaded on a weekly schedule, or not weekly schedule, a daily schedule on the weekdays. Uh, our major game being River City Girls, as of current, and um, just some in between break lines, uh, which we have as uh, Smash Bros, just to break things up, add some variety. Uh, and this is all being done while our bigger projects work in the background, which is um. It used to be called Hypercast Indie Overview, which our first game for that pilot was Iconoclast. Our next game is going to be Cave Story. Please look forward to it. It's, and the new name for the series is going to be Hypercast. Well, take out Hypercast entirely. It's just going to be called Indie Overcast. So, yeah. This is going to be fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode of us literally making almost no, no sense. sense with our goals as Pokemon trainers. I hope you um, have a much better idea of where you would be as a Pokemon trainer and who your ideal Pokemon partner would be. Uh, thanks for listening to this episode. We'll yep. see you guys next time on the podcast or see. on YouTube. Enjoy anyway. your week. Enjoy. See you next time. Bye. Bah. Bah.